Steven, do you have anything to say for yourself? Oh, um, I'm sorry. This guy stole my daughter's cat, and when she tried to get it back, he slapped the shit out of her. All right, that's it. I've heard enough. I am hereby sentencing you, Steven, to watching one alt video. Oh, oh, golly heck. I really messed up this time. Oh, oh, that intro was too long. You guys just missed the fight with Steven. Great. Oh, Steven, you are still delusional. As I said in the previous episode, I am going to head north. Though I will admit I am going to do a little exploring in the other directions as I don't want to miss something crucial to develop the story. Like what's going on in this house? Shatter. Wow, that really was important. Whoa, this Pokemon looks powerful. Wait, DJ, turn that shit up. Ay caramba, llegamos a la ciudad de la Cunosa. Where the fuck is the library? The professor is insistent that we talk to this old woman who wants to tell us the tale of her old, wrinkly, massive hole. For the safety of everyone that lives in this town, apparently people don't go out after dark. Steven! Hey Steven, maybe those guys took your sister's purloin. Oh, okay dude, calm down. Dude, holy shit, you are the least threatening character in a Pokemon game. All right, well, this is an unfortunate lead. Nothing important happened on turn one. Whoa, and suddenly the horse is here. A Thunderbolt takes out the Krag and all that is conveniently at one HP. Swalop busts a fat one on me, and Steven comes in clutch to do some massive damage. Zepstrika is not much of a special attacker, but a Thunderbolt still does a good amount to the Walrein. I can't stop the Walrein, though, from just putting Embor in the dirt. <sighs> Damn, Acid Spray will do that to a fella. A Bolt Switch is going to take out the Walrein, which is perfect so I can swap in my Flygon. Swalot actually goes for a Destiny Bond, but even a Wild Charge from Electros is not going to take it out. Weavile wastes its turn by fake outing the Electros. Punished. Damn, this Swalot just keeps going. Strength will kill the Swalot. Deli Bird? Perish. All right, it lived a plus one strength from Flygon. Hmm, I mean, you got it, Electros. Oh, that's it? Okay. Sick him, boy. Back to what I was doing. Before I progress any further, though, I want to do a little more exploring. I decide to go south of Undela Town so I can explore the Abundant Shrine. Having Waterfall at this point in the game feels very good. But this do be the shrine, though. Oh, God, I hope I don't get ambushed by three big buff men. I've got a bad feeling about this. Me, me and your mom, me and your mom when she, when I, what do you? Oh, you just also make it rain. Wow. This guy really likes sand. Oh, I guess they don't like sand. Okay, now what? <laughs> can I even go to the White Forest? Yeah, fucking course I can't. All right, well, time to check out what's going over in Undella Bay. Splash play, Draco play, NPC that won't let me pass. Uh, if you want to pass here, you have to defeat me and my rag and roller. However, we only battle strong and worthy trainers, so get out of my sight. Yeah, I can't argue with that. Well, I guess that's everything, so we're back to progressing the game. Oh, it's question marking. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? I, why is everyone in this region trying to smell me? Having the title boss trainer is pretty awesome. Time out. If there's anything you need to take away from the fight, it is this. Fuck. 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 This earthquake kills or we are fucked. Uh-oh. It's time to rebuild. Cue the epic montage music. <laughs> Yippee! 
<laughs> okay, now we're ready. Let's do it right this time. Benga is going to lead with a Metagross, and we're going to bring out our boy. Ice Punch from the Metagross isn't going to do too much, but an Earthquake in return will. That is just so disappointing. We get tickled by another Ice Punch before we finish off the Metagross with a Power Up Punch. Electivire's just gotta come in, tank the Power Rip, and then can put the Gyarados in the ground with a Wild Charge. This one is self-explanatory. Dragon Claw is going to tickle the Shaman, and you just die to a nice move. We're just gonna swap back in our Swampert, and this Embor gets V-Create. That's interesting. Eh, cool animation, at least. But we live, and now the Embor is not only weaker, but slower. Goodbye. Ah, uh, this fucker. I just let Swampert die here. I know that because I'm low on HP, it's not gonna go for a Quiver Dance, but I just gotta pray it doesn't get a boost from the Fired. Okay. You know what? If you're gonna set up, I'm gonna set up too. I guess we're just gonna have a dance battle. An Earthquake will do enough damage for me to finish this off with low punny. However, it does go for another Quiver Dance. Sorry, Flygon, you're not living this. Bring in the bunny, fake out, and sacrifice our Electivire. Bring in the bunny, fake out. Uh-oh. It's all good because Shaman could just come in and hit this thing with an Air Slash. I wish it were that easy, but this thing is not going to die. However, a knockoff is not going to be enough to take out my Shaman. Hidden power. And we venture forward. Ah, that is right. Before we get to the next main city, we gotta go through the village bridge. Fweet, 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 fweet. What is piercing my mind is a sad sound. What is piercing my heart is a cold night wind. Because tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. Ah, uh, this is that guy that does the thousand win streak thing. Yeah. 999 win streak. No, I don't really want to give you the opportunity to beat me. No, I can't pass until I beat you. Oh no. I do catch this Lapras below the bridge though. He definitely looking like a Goobus. Anywho, I like the vibes of this route. You know me, just gotta do some exploring. Hey, am I ruining the surprise? Okay, here, no, I, I'll, I'll just go back down. Oh no, I hope I don't get surprised. Fuck, I hope I don't get surprised. No way, is that Verizion? Wow. It's honestly really cute when people in the comments tell me that like, oh, you should just use false swipe or mons that can apply status. No, that just sounds like some shit a nerd would say. If you're good at the game like me, you can just simply get the mon into red HP by edging with moves. I'm really good at edging. At the end of the day, if you really think about it, every single ball you throw has a 50-50 chance of catching the Pokemon. It either catches it or it doesn't. It's just like flipping a coin and then landing on heads 72 times in a row, but eventually you're gonna land on tails. See, I know what I'm talking about. Verizian's shiny kind of looks like when you come home after a long day out and your dog is happy to see you. Hello, emo man. This dude's just kind of yapping. I don't really think he's that cool. Never mind, a man of culture. I take it all back. New city, new things to explore. You were able to get to know her through trading Pokemon. There are some Pokemon that evolve by trading parts of their bodies. Okay, what the fuck are you doing up here, bro? This is the biggest Tim Pool fan in the world. But if I bring him another Tim Pool, apparently he will show me a song. All right, I did a little grinding off camera. Here you go, kind sir. <laughs> the council will decide your fate. Okay. Hmm. Yes, I see you over there, Winona. I'll get to you eventually. What's going on up here? Do I want to find the friends that's mimicking you? Okay. Uh, it was you. Yeah, this is the one. Yeah. Uh, no prize. Just try again. Okay. <laughs> what is this, man? Hello, strangers. Hey, this is just between you and me, but I used to be a part of Team Plasma, but I'm not anymore. Please don't tell that guy on the other side of the table. Hey, this is just between you and me, but I really want to join Team Plasma because I fucking suck at trading Pokemon. Don't tell that guy on the other side of the table. 
Ace, it's just between you and- What's in Drayden's house? <laughs> because this game has placed the burden of HMs on me, I decided I wanted to get a actual good physical water attacker because I'm not gonna lie, Swampert has been kind of underwhelming so far. Because my soldiers do not buckle or yield when faced with the cruelty of this world. Well, it's actually kind of fucked up. And by fucked up, I mean pretty awesome. So how Technician works is it powers up moves by, I believe, like 1.5 times if it's base power 60 or lower. Mr. Weed can just learn Power Up Punch, which is power 50. And in this game, Cut is a grass type base power 60 move. He is now unkillable. It is time for you to perish. All I need Lopunny to do is fake out the Dragonite, and then we're gonna just tank a Hurricane. The only move that Shaman has ever pressed, we just kill the Dragonite with a hidden power. Another Hurricane for the Mantine is definitely gonna take out the Bunny, but another hidden power from Shaman is gonna do a good chunk of damage to the Altaria. Altaria just goes for an Earthquake, this does nothing. A hurricane again from the Mantine, this time on Shaman, is perfect because that's exactly who I wanted him to target. Luckily for me, Shaman is not getting confused and I can take out the Altaria with another hidden power. Giga Drain is gonna do a good chunk of damage to the Pelipper, but Pelipper is just gonna return fire with a hurricane. A cut from the Berloom is just gonna murder the Pelipper. A couple of bonk sound effects later, and Winona tells me that I should go check out the shopping mall on Route 9. All right, what's up? Can I go past Route 9? The tube line is undergoing a test to see how many people it can hold. Can it hold one more? Let me on, let me on. It can hold one more person. All right, whatever, shopping mall time. Welcome to shopping mall nine. It's called that because it's on Route 9. You can remember it by thinking of this, done shopping. Nine, 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 nine. Uh, okay. Yo, that's my go. What up, bro? Yo. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah! That was a bit excessive, don't you think? I actually have the best nickname for this guy. The shopping mall here actually has a bunch of useful items, so I'm just gonna grab a bunch of random stuff, cause, you know, maybe it'll help down the road. Well, no avoiding it now, I gotta go into the gym. My main man, Clyde. Always keeping me hydrated. How do you like these drag- <laughs> Dragging my fat fucking nuts across your face, Clyde. Unironically, sick ass gym design. Beating one of the trainers just lets you scale the dragon even higher. Oh, and then this too. Bah! Apart from Goobus the Lapras just committing absolute war crimes to these trainers, it's not long before we get to kick Drayden's ass. Mwah. Wait, hold on, guys. I need to get the. I need to find the bonk sound effect. Okay, I found it, we're good. Just gotta fake out the Latias, and... Basculin did his job for now, so Mr. Silly's just gonna tank some moves. Power Up Punch from Lopunny is going to break the Focus Sash on the Sceptile, but Latias is going to return fire with an Aura Sphere. A Leaf Blade from Sceptile isn't gonna do too much. No Focus Sash proc means no Unburden, means I outspeed and kill with Acrobatics. However, I do die to an Aura Sphere. Got the club going up. Don't worry, he's back. Don't worry, he's fucking dead. On a Tuesday. Actually, solid damage from a fly. Shaman doing what Shaman does best and is gonna take out the Latias with the HP ice. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a big fucking uh-oh. Oh, an even bigger uh-oh. Well, cross poison just... Uh, nah. A Dragon Pulse from Latias fails to take out my Shaman, however, the Haxorus's outrage is going to murder Michael Icecore. From downtown with the hidden power ice! Get the fuck out of me! Nice. This is a tough battle, Drayden. I'm gonna have to whip out my Pintus. Sucker Punch from Sudowoodo takes out the Latias, and the Salamence misses its dual wing beat on my Shaman, which allows me to get off another hidden power ice. Flygon is going to Dragon Pulse my Shaman. Let's fucking go, baby! But Salamence hits the dual wing beat. hi -ya! Nobody can defeat Goobus. Get out of here! 
All right, at least this one doesn't look like it will fit up my ass. Ah, it's a beautiful day here in the Unova region. Don't you agree, Drayden? Oh, hey, your Axu finally calmed down. Oh, another bomb. What is that? I come to make an announcement. Shadow the Hedgehog's a bitch-ass motherfucker. He fucked my wife, so guess what? I'm gonna fuck the Earth. That's right, this is what you get. My super laser pants! Well, 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 if it isn't the Perloin Bandits, I guess I got no choice but to help out Drayden. This kind of feels like a cliffhanger. Wobble dee wobble dee wop, wobble, wobble, stack, stack in my paper. My wallet look like a Bible. 